Welcome to Talk to Ringside Live, brought to you by Ringside Boxing Australia. My name is Ahmed, and today we will be discussing features of a good boxing shoe. Now, you've uh, newly entered the sport once again, and uh, you've got a passion for the sport of boxing. You realize that you have to buy a pair of gloves, hand wraps, uh, a pair of boxing shoes, and you're weighing up you're not sure what to buy. So, you what tends to happen is, people tend to buy the hand wraps and the gloves and they say, oh, we'll, we'll buy the boxing shoes later. So they get in the gym, uh, from there, they start training, so on, so on, and then what tends to happen is, they realize that as they're moving in the ring, their shoes are very, very grippy, they're gripping to the surface of the ring, and they're having problems moving and their punches are not coming off right and you know they're starting to feel a bit a bit disheartened because it's just not happening for them so my advice you're starting the sport of boxing you're new to the sport of boxing buy yourself a pair of boxing boots and make it happen because reason being is this let's mention a few a few benefits Benefit number one is, as we mentioned, the grip of, of the shoe. So here, here you are, this is the sole. You'll notice that in some areas, it's a bit less grippy than others. Here, it would, it would be heavy grip. Here, it's a bit less grippy, a, a bit less grippy. So what tends to happen is, the top of the shoe is where you, you're, you're pivoting and moving, and most of your work is, is basically happening. If you're on the back foot, sometimes the, you're, you're, on the, you're on your toes, you're moving, now, what, what you ideally want is, you want a pair of shoes that's not going to be too grippy, it's not going to uh, slide as you're moving around in the ring, you want to be balanced at all times. So, you should buy a pair of boxing shoes because boxing shoes are made for the sport of boxing. All the different stances, all the different positions, all the different punches that have been thrown, all the different foot movements are taken into consideration when purchasing a pair of boxing shoes. So that's the uh, that's the grip of the actual shoe. Number two is the sole. Now what we tend to work with when it comes to the sole is some people like the thinner soles, some people like thicker soles. Those that like the thinner soles, they like to basically fill the ground because the thinner the sole is, the more you can basically fill the ground. That what that tends to do is it gets your feet a bit tired and, and your toes they become a bit tired because they have to work harder. The thicker soles they have more support, more cushioning. Some people like them because they feel much more supported when they're moving around. Number three is the weight of the actual boxing shoe. So as you can see here, the last thing you want is a heavy boxing shoe. This is a, a, a light boxing shoe. As you can see, it's got mesh on the outside. Uh, the uh, soles are not too, too heavy. The shoe is, is nice and light. You're moving around for 30, 40, 50 minutes. You don't want to wear a, a pair of boxing shoes that's going to be heavy on your feet. Uh, your feet tend to get heavy anyway as the, as the session goes on. So you basically want to buy a pair that are nice and light, not too heavy, uh, because your feet generally, naturally, begin to become very heavy as the session goes on. Number four is the ankle support, the height and ankle support. Now, what tends to happen is you have shoes that come in a low top, this is considered as a low top shoe, then you've got a medium top, which is a, a bit higher than the ankle, a few, a few inches higher, higher than the ankle. Then you've got a high top, which is ar around the calf region. The low top tends to come in a few different sizes. So sometimes you might get a low top that's right on the ankle. Sometimes it's right, right beneath. And sometimes like tissue here, it's a touch above. It really depends on the manufacturer of the shoe. But low tops tend to, to provide more mobility in your ankles. High tops, they restrict the mobility in your ankles, but they give you better ankle support. So it really is a personal preference. So 
in summary look out for a good pair of boxing shoes with the following features make sure that the grip is not is, is just right you don't want to be too grippy you, you don't want to be sliding the uh, sole either thin or thick based on, on personal uh, preference the weight of the shoe nobody wants to wants to walk around with a heavy pair of boxing shoes number four the height of the actual shoe low top uh, medium top or high top personal preference once again those newly entering the sport purchase a pair of boxing shoes you'll notice a massive difference in your training enjoy your training and thank you for listening catch you all next week on wednesday any questions reach out to us on twitter facebook or instagram just hashtag talk to ringside live thank you